Hi there, welcome to another painting tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to paint this capybara in acrylic paints. So let's get started. And I'm gonna start with a size zero spotter brush. And I'm gonna go in with the black. And I wanna put in some initial really fine details. So I'm gonna go around the eye the top and then underneath and then I can do kind of a pupil at the center okay and then let's put this little kidney bean shape for the nostril do that in black and then I'm going to go around the feet of the subject, just going to outline some of the toes here. And if you want to paint along with me, just go ahead and grab this sketch linked in the description below the video. Okay, I'm following that sketch. Okay, and now let's switch brushes. So I'm gonna switch to another round brush. This is a size zero as well, but it's a different brand, so it's a little bit bigger. And I wanna take some burnt umber, which is a nice dark brown. I'm gonna put that in. Let's put some of that kind of underneath the belly and we'll go around this area and actually let's take I forgot the little feet in the back so take some more black paint and then go around those toes in the back okay so let's continue with the burnt umber and we can go kind of around the nose with this color. Go down by the mouth. And then let's actually take the black again and we can do some, let's put some on the ear. Just kind of go around outline that shape of the ear okay so then let's come back this way and I'm doing kind of free-flowing strokes here it's because he has so much texture with his hair that you don't have to have um, smooth transitions or blends for this painting Okay, and then we can add, let's add this dark value here, kind of around his, you can kind of fill in where the feet were, in between the toes with this dark brown. Okay, and then let's go under the mouth right here in this area it's kind of got a shadow under his chin and then we could put some of this brown let's make the kind of above the eye and underneath the eye and then let's go around the ear it's going to add that color in Okay, and then rinse off your brush. I'm gonna take that size zero spotter and let's take some of this burnt sienna and then see if we can put in kind of like an eye iris in the eye. And then let's also put this color in some different areas. So I'm gonna take a size six filbert and let's take some of the burnt sienna 
And let's put that around in some different areas. So he has kind of some warm areas, warm fur. And we can just kind of put those in. So behind the ear. So we're just trying to work with our warm and our cool shadows. And uh, this is kind of a warm shadow. It's a very orangey brown color. So let's put this over here. We'll go around the eye. And I can get, I'm gonna get a little bit closer and go all the way around that eye. It's got some brown here. Okay, and this is kind of an underpainting that we're doing now. Okay, so now let's mix up a cool color. So I'm gonna take some of this beige paint and mix it with a little bit of this lilac color and see if we can get, then I'm gonna add a little bit of the burnt umber in there. I just wanna get a cool brown shade. Okay, so let's see how that looks on the paper. So that's pretty close. So let's go ahead and add this in. Make sure that you mix up enough. And we can put some of this around the muzzle. And that looks like it's presenting as a pretty opaque color, so it's covering up what's underneath. Okay, I can put some of this around the feet. We'll put some down here. Okay. So now let's switch to, let's use this beige color here. And I'm gonna put some of that beige. We can just kind of use that to cover up some of the white areas. Just kind of fill in the form. Actually, I'm gonna spray the paper. Help our paint flow a little bit better. Okay, I'm just kind of washing that in. And this one is pretty opaque. So just be careful that you don't cover up so much of your dark colors. And the warm colors that we added. We want those to show through a little bit. Okay, and then I'm gonna kind of take a watery mix and just kind of try to blend, kind of glaze over this to get some of these white areas of the paper. And I painted over this area a little bit too much, so I'm gonna clean that up. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna take the Zero Spotter. Let's take that lilac paint and see if we can put that around the nostril. It's kind of a highlight. And then I'm gonna go around the eye a little bit. Just kind of add some highlight around that eye. Okay, let's take some burnt umber and then go inside these toes in the back. Kind of clean up any edges. And if you wanna take your time, just go ahead and pause the video and you can kind of take your time with some of these areas. 
Okay, I'm gonna put a little bit of burnt sienna inside the ear. And then the one in the back, let's take some lavender and put a little bit of a highlight in the back. We could do it on this ear as well. And the one in the back is a little too strong, so I'm gonna try to blend that out. Okay. Just gonna put a little bit of beige around this area. So we're just kind of working with the colors at this point. Okay, so let's take, let's do our lighter values now. So let's stick with, I'm gonna use a zero round brush. Let's take some titanium white and then mix some of the beige with that white just to make a nice lighter shade of tan. And let's put in some of the highlights. So this area here, we can kind of make some fur. And back here, can do a highlight or a lighter value. And then let's put some around this area where the hip is. It'll kind of make that stand out a little bit more create some dimension. We can put some right here. And then this part of the face, we can come up here, add a little bit of that lighter value. Okay, let's put some right over the eyelid. I'll put it underneath as well. Put a little bit right there. Just kind of go around and use the direction of form, use the direction that the fur is going to be moving in. And go ahead and kind of clean up some edges with this as well. And don't forget to step back and kind of see your progress, see where you are. It's so easy to get tunnel vision while you're painting. Put some of this down here. Kind of go over this area. Okay, I've got to kind of step back, see what I might want to change or refine. Okay, I think it's looking pretty good. So then while it's still a little bit wet, I'm gonna take a smaller, um, actually let's try the rigor brush. So while everything's still a little bit wet, and I could even spray the paper, let's kind of roll the brush in some of this white paint. And the rigor is good for these fine lines. So I'm going to do white, but I want it to blend a little bit with the beige, but lighter than the color that we just did. And then let's see if we can do, I'm going to put a little bit around his nose. Okay, they kind of have some whiskers, so you can kind of put that in. And then kind of have to keep rolling the brush. But let's see if we can kind of get some thinner, even brighter highlights. Put a little bit here. And a little bit here. Okay. Okay, so I want to do, I'm going to take this round brush and a little bit of, let's take a little bit of burnt umber, some of that lilac, and then some white. And I want just like a light value of a kind of a grayish. And I wanna to try to put that around the nose just to make a little bit of a highlight around there to give it a little bit of dimension. Okay, I think that's good. So let's take that zero spotter 
and we'll take some of this titanium white. Let's put a highlight in the eye carefully. Okay. All right, so at this point, let's just clean up a few edges. Kind of step back. I think the feet could use a little bit of refinement. Just kind of darken it a little bit. Okay. Okay, but I think we'll call this complete for now. Um, you could go ahead and add some more detail if you would like, experiment and have fun with it. But let's call this complete. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Please like and subscribe for more videos and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.